Hi friends, so in this lecture we are going to learn about the Mongo scripts and how to use JavaScript like the script code inside the browser and a um, lot of like the stuff which you might not see somewhere else in other tutorials. So I think this is a really good lecture which can boost your productivity. So how to go about this is um, uh, let's say I have a JavaScript file which has a for loop and which is doing some stuff over here. Just to be precise a variable which is having an array of some values and you are ha having a nested for loop which is trying to create another JSON object as R, R as in record. So then you are just doing a simple command of db dot scores dot insert and you are trying to insert. So this is 3, this is 100. Once you run it, it would, uh, resultant would be around 300. So you can expect the insertion of 300 records. So this is nothing but a plain uh, JavaScript. So first thing first, let us try to run this. From here, let me do a CLS. There we go. So we got these things inserted in the um, collection, which is tb.scores.count. So we got 300 uh, records inserted. We can find one, a sample record. It looks something like this. It looks pretty neat though. So uh, now uh, I would highly recommend you to go to my blog, web blog, uh, which is having how to run and execute MongoDB scripts and yeah, so how to execute the Mongo. So there are like two things. First thing is you can use load, load method, and then you can give the path of the JavaScript file. So in my PyCharm, I already have a JavaScript file like this one. So we gonna copy the uh, copy the path, and then we try to load it. Oops. So what we missed here is let me try to do it again. We do load, and we have to pass it like this true right so uh, that's how like you have to uh, co cover it in codes and based on the path uh, the JavaScript can be picked up uh, some people especially beginner they face problem in writing uh, their like uh, JSON objects in Mongo shell so what they can do is just create a file the JavaScript file that's how when I started I did I would do it here, I will validate my JSON, I would put my logic and just load it there. But the problem with this file is you cannot really use the Mongo, uh, Mongo syntax or like anything which is non-JavaScript syntax. Let's say I want to say use testdb and then do this thing. If you try to run this load command, it's going to fail. So let us try to do this again. It failed. So there comes the concept of Mongo script. So it says you can, you have to use the database name as cool, and then you have to drop the data. Uh, if there is any like scores, you drop it. If there is nothing, no worries. And then you have to do this insert and you can do blah 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 based on your logic whatever commands you want now how to run this because if we run this through load it won't work so there are like different ways of doing this so you can go to my blog and this explains about how to write and execute mongodb scripts so once you come here you can find the command is you just need to do a mongo and you just need to do a redirect and there you go that's it nothing nothing you know fancy about it it's just simple you're redirecting 
the file and Mongo is smart enough to understand. Now here the caveat is that you have this uh, Mongo which is uh, having everything as default. So that's how it is. So time to run. You and one more thing whenever you're trying to running these scripts make sure you're not running it from mongo shell you have to open a bash or your command terminal in windows so we gonna write as mongo and we gonna give the path of our mongo script file so let me go to my pycharm and get me let me copy the path so this gonna uh, use or insert the data in school we can just name it as mongo mongo t u t u r a l if this database doesn't exist it would create it and let's say instead of so putting it in school we can say results just for fun right just to show you that this thing really works and reflects now we gonna paste the path and i have uh, like conventionally i say it is mjs as mongo javascript file for my teammates like my co-workers i would have a set of commands with the script with for loading and blah 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 so whenever they just run this command, things happen. Otherwise, if you give them set f command, you tell them do this sequence, follow this, follow do, it becomes you know difficult for them. Just to make their task easier, especially I sometimes do it from the shell script, like uh, some of the programs. So it's like very easy to automate. So there you see that it when there it show the version it connected to first by default it connects to test database but then it switched to mongo tutorial as you mentioned here it tried to drop database it did the insertion and then it said bye bye it's a happy thing so and it shows like one insert means uh, records all the records have been inserted let's say if we got the collection named as results inventory so we need to go to the database which is mongo tutorial so let's say use this database so show collections there we go we got the results db dot results dot what do you want to do you want to see a sample document or you want to see the count so we can try doing count so we got 300 as expected so to conclude this lecture again i would highly recommend you to go through my blog and try this understand about mongo script what is mongo script how to write and execute it how to import or reuse your javascript and how to run your json javascript on mongo shell try out all these things because they are going to help once we start with the find operations because sometimes they get really difficult and typing the long queries here is like difficult so you can do specially for insert update delete anything on your javascript editor like any ide and just load the file with the uh, way i just told you before like you have to just use this method load and pass the path of the file javascript file or you can do it from bash by redirecting any any extension file i call it as mjs which is like mongo javascript which is collect which is like the combination of mongo commands and the javascripts so hope you like this and you will enjoy learning thanks and bye from asim frame asim gen